the wisdom that peruses every activity of God the wisdom that gives God his feedback the wisdom that delights the heart of the father it is this wisdom I'm presenting we understand how the words are chosen why because we are doers of the word we are masters of the word we are poets of the word I pray to God that your ministry will not be in the outer court but you will come into the place of the very presence of God but by reason of Christ who has opened the way we have free access to God and we are not afraid therefore he said come boldly before the throne of grace that you might find grace and help even in a time of need and most of us who think that prayer is a means of just taking something taking something we have never got to the place when we understand our prayer is work when we pray we work when we pray we when we pray we form when we create we make things happen and you know what in the secrecy of this work god rewards you openly. now get set for the good word of god with pastor Obed. of it. Always a blessing. Now, when this word of God, which was rising in your heart, permeates the brain and now beams his light in the encampment, the word of God said, Judah, shall be situated in the east. Amen? Amen? Five minutes, I'm done. Quickly. Judah shall be situated in the east. Watch this. Judah means Yehuda. Out of which anybody that associated with Judah, the tribe of Judah, was referred to as a Jew. So we know that the Levites and then the Benjamites joined Judah. And it is the tribe of Judah, the tribe of Levi, and the tribe of the Benjamites that were referred to as the Jews. Everybody say the Jews. Jews. Now, the word of God says that a Jew is no one that is one outwardly. But a Jew is one that is a true Jew. Is one that is a Jew inwardly. For he is not a Jew, which is one outwardly. Neither is that circumcision, which is outward in the flesh. Now watch what he said. But the circumcision is the circumcision of the heart. And then he said, in the spirit and not in the letter. But he is a Jew, which is one inwardly and circumcision is on the heart so we are looking at the inward jew who is an inward jew the inward jew they are those that encamp at the east the right side of the mind and of the brain they allow for the five to eight hairs to vibrate and they give themselves over to it because they know that music is the force of the creation. On the east side, towards the rising of the sun, shall they of the standard of the camp of Judah pitch throughout their armies. Numbers chapter 2 verse 9. Read with me. I'm closing. Go. All that were numbered. Everybody, louder. All that were numbered in the camp of Judah. Where is the camp of Judah? 
is, is it on the left or is it on the right? The right part of your brain, the right hemisphere. Okay, what did he say would happen? They were, hold on, hold on. Do you remember I spoke of biophotons? Are you ready? See this. They were what? Louder. A hundred thousand. What is four score? A score is 20. What is four square? 80. Uh huh. And six. Six thousand and four hundred. Please say it again. NIV. NIV. Everybody, come on, go. Loud, please. One, two, three, go. All the men assigned to the camp of Judah, according to their divisions, number one eight six four hundred. They will set out. They will set out. What is the speed of light in miles per second? One eight six four hundred miles per second is the speed of light. Watch this. Hold on. On the east side was the encampment of Judah. The number was the speed of light. Listen. This DNA thing that I've spoken to you about, communion, eating light, and everything, this is the foundation. Light can be, listen, listen. You can eat light and lock it. Do you know why? Because if you always, assuming you in the day you sleep, and then in the night you wake up, will you ever see the sun? No. I'm asking the whole church. No. Will the sun actually appear? Yes. Will the sun have visited you? But will you ever see it? Because you are always waking up at the wrong side of your mind. The left. But if you would awake to the right hemisphere and know that this is given to intuition, it is given to the handing yourself over and following the experience. Do you know what? The word of God says that Israel, they sought for a sign. But the Greeks, they wanted wisdom. The Greeks were a left-minded people. And then the Jews, they were a right-minded people. They loved intuition. They wanted to see the thing. For them, even if you were unable to preach it and you could express it, they loved it. So God didn't take time trying to run them through schools and everything. God took time to run them through the experience of things. When you go to church and every day the preacher is preaching to your left brain. Every day trying to advise you on the left brain. Left brain. Trying to counsel you on the left brain. He's always analytic. He has become a motivational speaker. Trying to always let you know the three ways. The 17 ways. The 18 steps. You are dealing with a preacher on the left. He does not bring light. But when you sit under a ministry the Bible said when Jesus walked with them and then he disappeared they said ah did not our hearts burn within us when he spoke to us and what was he said the Bible said and their eyes opened which eye it was a pineal gland that opened because they were watching him with this physical eyes but by the time they realized a third light from within them had done but hold on how did the light begin did not our hearts burn within us when he spoke to us when he was speaking to us our hearts were burning they were in the state of meditation they were concentrating on the right on the right dimension you know some of you when i'm preaching you easily get tired by the time we go two hours you are tired it is actually telling on your spiritual state because hold on hold on you cannot so much as take energy from within when you get weak 
If you know how much I pull myself, not because I'm energetic, but because I have learned to always source energy from the right portion of my right hemisphere, the right hemisphere of my brain. I have learned to go there for energy, to allow the sun of righteousness to beam with his light. You begin to experience that the more I'm preaching, the more you are becoming energetic. The, but you realize that if it was of the flesh, you could not have last long. Have you not realized? When people walk into CCI, the first time people say that we hypnotize them we don't hypnotize them because they were listening to a left membrane left hemisphere preacher but they walk into this meeting and they're like who is this what is he talking about it is like i'm hearing something i've never heard before people say that ah, when you open the scriptures it's as if i've never read it before do you know why you are always reading it with the left but i was bringing you to read it with your right you are given to the movies of the spirit to the intuition you are given to the music Music of the spirit, you were releasing the parables, they were being expounded on the harp. You are given to the way of the spirit, and your eyes were opened, and they knew him, and immediately he vanished out of their sight. Every true seeker of the word who walks into CCI doesn't go back. No, every true seeker. Oh, me, I can't be in that church. We know it's, it's a problem with your mind. We, it's no problem. You use the left. That's your problem. You use the left. You see, Sissy, we, lo we love you by your time. Because we, we want to stay and activate the right. So some of the times, let me talk. When some pastors begin to talk about time and they begin to beat you on it, I just want them. These are immature pastors. They will grow. They will grow. If you like, watch it. It's as if we are joking. As soon as you put a pastor here, he now begins to forget that we also have time. <laughs> because he does not understand. Ha. Oh, I just have three points. Actually, today, I wanted to talk to you about number one, half. Number two, light that beams from the right hemisphere. That's all. No more than that. And all I just needed to tell you is that go to the right hemisphere of your brain and bring the light from your heart by playing the harp. That's what I've been trying to communicate. We could say it in two minutes. We can utter it in five minutes. But you will need to follow. Because when we say it in five minutes, you think, oh, pastor preached powerfully. I spoke in parables. I didn't hit the harp. Is it time that opens it up? If it is not time, why didn't Jesus send them home? The Bible said he asked them to be with him that he might send them. He needed to spend three and a half years with them daily. Why didn't he let them live in their homes Discipleship, Talmudim. It simply means you must be here for me to talk. A disciple is one that is ready to hear. He doesn't get tired hearing. What can be here? You are not a disciple. <laughs> so now everybody is now beginning to know their level. And you, if you begin to meditate, and you begin to get into the depths of meditation of the heart that springs forth with light in the mind, you realize how different you begin to look. It will begin to tell on your work. Now, do you know what people say? How can you put school students together Sunday from the morning to the evening? How do you expect them to rest before they go to school? They are resting now. It's called Sabbath. Pastor Obed, always a blessing. Wisdom, a subject that has befuddled many a believer and remains a mystery to most. Some have said it is the proper application of knowledge. Others have defined it as beautiful cascading and articulation of words. But did you know that wisdom is not learned in the schools of this world and that a believer must never ask for wisdom? Introducing a treasure that would revolutionize this generation and the next. The Seven Pillars of Wisdom, The Hidden Elixir of Life, a riveting book written by Pastor Obed Obingade. In this book, you would come under the inspiration of the Holy Rock of God as the man of God, Pastor Obed, unlocks this mystery, which is wisdom. 
As you flip each page of this book, you will be built up into a glorious edifice, expressive in works and power. Order a copy of this book now, available in all our bookshops. To place an order, please call us on plus 233-20-910-5997 or on plus 233-55-792-6498. You can also get the ebook on Amazon's Kindle app or visit www.christgospelpolitan.org for more information. Shalom. Pastor Obed, always a blessing. Do you know what? Let me share something with you. You may feel tired when you go for lectures on Monday. But if you are really listening, there is no one of your classmates who will understand it better than you. You are, you are feeling tired. But the thing that you are hearing from the board, all those who slept Saturday to Sunday cannot compete with you. And if you are here and you are having problems in your academics, please stop and start meditating. This is the reason why all those Eastern religion guys who do, not, who do not even stem from the heart and start with their mind, there is no one of them that struggles in the academics. In your, in your school. Because as they sit down there, they may look tired. Look, look, look. They go to the fields to meditate two to three hours in the night whilst you are sleeping. And then they will come and sleep around three and wake up and join you in class. But you, you just went for one all night. You are complaining. How ma we must manage our time. You see, this management of time and this SWOT and this um, strengths, weakness, opportunities and threats and this SMART, uh, it has to be specific. It has to be measurable. It has to be realistic. It has to be time bound. All of these things that you are saying, I know why. Because you are using... Is this one. This one is working. You are using the left. That's how come you are talking like that. But we wouldn't fight you because we, we don't use our left. We use the right to take over the left. I said we only use the right. We use the right to take over the left. And the place to begin to use the right. Somebody say, how would I use the right? Meditation. Meditation. You have to start meditating. You get a message. Then you lie down quietly and you listen to it. You are not making notes. This is not the time. If I ask you how many of you have my messages, it will shock you. Some of you, you don't even have, oh, Nassim is in me, The more you listen, the more you listen on video, visual, and you know what? The right portion of the brain also controls the visuals. That is how come if you want an anointing on a man of God, his step dimension will bring you far. But if you really want the thing to come on you, you have to watch his video dimension. Because the more you watch videos, the more you are using the right side of the mind. The more you are using the right side of the mind. By the time you are realizing, you know what, you say it's anointing. Yes, it's anointing. What is on the man of God begins to enter your heart. The other day, Bishop Dak said, I was listening to the message of Kenneth Hagan. Then something jumped from the message and entered my heart. And I knew, I heard the voice. We said, from today you can teach. The more I watch him, sometimes I'll be preaching. I'll be preaching, I'll be preaching. He said, ah. This is Kenetagan. It is not that it is just Kenetagan. You were watching the thing with the right hemisphere of your brain. And as you were watching, something will enter your heart. The more you watch, the thing will rise up like the day spring. When it comes into your head, it goes to the right. Then the sun of righteousness, who is the daylight, will begin to beam. And now by the time you realize, the very first message that you listened, then you said was too hard. They're like, ah, why didn't I understand this message? It is very easy, Papa. Where was I sitting in the meeting? Oh, you were listening listening to it with the left but now when your mind opens at that moment he was speaking parables because you were using your left what what Jesus said he said they have eyes they cannot see but there is a light within it is called the pineal eye or the light of the pineal gland Jesus said less if they should see I should convert them and I should heal them let us stop walking about with these two thieves let us 
must allow the whole discourse between the Christ from our heart to rise up into our mind, seated in the pineal gland, and to begin to have discourse with the two thieves on the cross, the right eye and the left eye. And by the time you realize, instead of sitting in church and doing this, whenever I'm preaching and people begin to do this, I know they are not getting it. But when people begin to do this, I know, wow, I'm ministering to that guy. The other day, the Bible said, Paul said, looking at him, he found faith in his eyes. How do you know there is faith in somebody's eye? When people begin to do this, it means they are confused. How did you realize if you're a good teacher and you are teaching and the people are doing this? It means they're actually not seeing anything. But when a person does this, it means that, hey, hey, the word of God said, behold, I will do a new thing. Behold, before it spring forth, I tell you of them, when your eyes pop open, the other day David said, open my eyes that I may behold wondrous things written, O God, in thy word. He said, I have esteemed your word more than my necessary food. He said, thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. There is a treasure of the word. There is a place where we feast in the word. There is a place where we eat the word. It has become the rejoicing of my heart. Ah, how sweet are thy words. Sweeter than the honeycomb. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. He said, those that have tasted of the good word of God and the powers of the ages to come. When we begin to taste, when the word of God becomes food, we begin to taste. He said, then we become enlightened. We belong to the enlightened ones. Wherever you are seated tonight, I don't know whether you are using the left brain or you are using the right brain, but you know what? It begins from the heart. If your heart will follow, your heart is burning within you. Your heart is burning within you. The word is burning. It's burning within you. It's like fire. It's like fire in my bones. The other day, Jeremiah said, if I decide, I will not preach your way. It burns like fire. It burns like fire in my bones. Do you know what? When we talk about the Pleiadian influence, that is where we begin to see the stars in the word of God. But you know what? Like I showed you last Thursday, the place he said, it means that to retain love in your mind. How do you begin it? You begin when you love something passionately. I love thy word. It is my meditation all day long. It has made me wiser than my teachers. You are getting close to the Pleiades. The place is a principle of the cross that you mount in your head. It's a principle of the cross that you mount up in your mind. The other day, the Bible said, Moses, he was walking in the wilderness. And you know what? He saw a burning bush. He saw it with his two eyes. But the Bible said, he was at the back side. He was at the back side. Where the organs, oh my God, are formed. He was at the back side of the desert. And you know what? He had in his hand a rod. A rod that could turn into a snake. But God wanted that rock. That, that rod to become a serpent. Which was a holy serpent. God said, Moses, lay it down. But before he laid it down, the word of God says, Moses decided, I will turn to see what is happening here. The bush is burning, but it's not consumed. Moses, this is not a physical bush. It is a bush within you. It is a bush within you. My goodness, I would to God that I show you the bush on Thursday and Sunday. I will take time off to show you the burning bush seated inside of you so that in meditation you can turn to the burning bush and you know what when you turn to the burning bush you have to take off your shoes because this is a new walk this is a new journey you are beginning a new walk hey do you know what I believe that most
Moses, when he took off his shoes, it was not written anywhere that God said, wear it back. Because when he took off the shoes, he was now a priest that was supposed to carry the presence of God with him wherever he went. That was Moses. He had now taken up a new journey. Is it not the reason why the spiritual churches, the men of God, their prophets, have an understanding into these things? Though they are working physically, they decide wherever I go, I carry the presence of God with me, so I will not wear shoes. But you know what? It is not in Gogota, it is not in physical Calvary, Jesus. but it's a spiritual experience. Ritual experience happening up here. Jesus. You know what? I have a temple. I have a temple. Ah, the son of righteousness. The son of righteousness. Is rising up. It's rising up. With healing in his way. With healing in his way. But he begins. But he begins. As a day spring. As a day spring. From my heart. From my heart. But many a people. But many a people. Do not know. Do not know. That the rising. That the rising. Of the day spring. Of the day spring. Should not end in the heart. Should not end in the heart. It should culminate. It should culminate. In the mind. In the mind. It should culminate. It's to culminate through the thoracic, through the thoracic tract, tract and end up and end up with secretions, with secretions in your pineal, in your pineal, and should end up and should end up like it happened, like it happened in the book of Acts, in the book of Acts, the chapter two, the chapter two. He said, he said, they were gathered, they were gathered in one place, in one place with one accord, with one accord. They were five hundred, they were five hundred when they went there, when they went there, but when the Holy Ghost, but when the Holy Ghost came upon them. Came Upon them. Those who are always, those who are always complaining about complaining time, about time. They left the meeting. They left the meeting. But there were one twenty. But there were one twenty who understood. Who understood the government of God. The government of God. Because one twenty. Because one twenty is twelve. Is twelve times ten. Times ten. The government of God. The government of God. That has attained fullness. That has attained fullness. You may be sitting here. You may be sitting here as part of the five hundred. part of the five hundred. Watching your time. Watching your time. For that matter. For that matter. You can go home. You you can go home. Nobody has tied you. Nobody has tied you. CCI. CCI. It's not a church. It's not a church. To please you. To please you. It is a place. It is a place. Of raising. Of raising. We make time. We make time. For the word of God. For the word of God. Like in the day. Like in the days. Of Pentecost. Of Pentecost. There is something within there us. There is something within us. Telling us. Telling us. That something. That something. From heaven. From heaven. It's about hitting. It's about hitting. The earth. The earth. We are not wasting we time. We are not wasting time. We may look like children. We may look like children. Who don't have anything, Who don't have anything to, do to do with our time. With our time. That is left mindedness. That is left mindedness. But with right mindedness. Right mindedness. When we drink alcohol. When we drink alcohol. We are waking. We are waking. The right man. The right part. When we are intoxicated. When we are intoxicated. Our eyes are red. Our eyes are red. We are waking. We are waking. The right hemisphere. The right hemisphere. We are loud. We are loud. For the emotions. For the emotions. The melodies. The melodies. The harps. The harps. Of the spirit. Of the spirit to take over, to take over from, today. from today. Word of God, word of God, rise up, rise up within my within heart. My heart. Word, of God. word of God, awake, awake in my heart. In my heart, let this mind, let this mind be in my mind, be in my mind, even the mind of even Christ. the mind of Christ. Where am I going? Where am I going? I don't have anywhere to go. I don't have anywhere to go. Being in His presence, being in His presence, is enough. It's enough for me. Oh Lord, oh Lord, breathe upon me. Breathe Upon me. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Breathe upon Breathe me. Breathe upon me. The word of God says. The word of God says. When the day, when the day of Pentecost, of Pentecost had fully come. Had fully come. Clothing talks. Clothing talks. Of fire. Of fire. Parted. Parted. On your forehead. Upon your forehead. Something is happening. Something is happening. Fire. Fire. It is called. It is called. The day spring. The day spring. Of the heart. Of the heart. That introduced. That introduced. The son of righteousness. The son of righteousness. In my head, in my head. How can fire? How can fire emerge? Emerge from the head, from the head of a man, of a man. Unless the sun, unless the sun is inside his head, inside his head. There is fire, there is fire in your mind, in my mind. There is fire, there is fire in your mind, in my mind. You know what? I know when you, 
when I awake awaken the son of righteousness, the son of righteousness, all dormant DNA, all dormant DNA, by your photonic DNA, by your photonic DNA, all by your photons, all by your photons, are activated. Are activated. There is light in you. There is light in me. You are eating light. I am eating light. Your word is light. My word is light. It is lamb. It is lamb. And it is light. And it is light. Lamb. Lamb to my feet. To my feet. And light. And light to my path. To my path. I come. Preach it with me. You know what? Whenever, whenever you see a minor, you see a minor going, going to that day, to that day, he does not, he does not only carry, only carry light, light for his feet, for his feet, but he carries, but he carries light, light for his path, for his path. And you know what? And you know what? Where does he put the light? Where does he put the light? He places the light, he places the light on his forehead. On his forehead. There is fire. There is fire on the forehead. On the forehead, there is light. There is light on the forehead. On the forehead, to guide his way. To guide his way. Not only his not path, only his feet. The way, the way in your heart, in my heart, is for your feet. Is for your feet. But the light, but the light of the way, of the way on your forehead, on your forehead, is for your path. Is for your path. You see things. You see things before they happen. Before they happen. You have advanced knowledge. You have advanced. You know. You know. Today. Today. You must not go right. You must not go right because because you have fire. You have fire on your forehead on your forehead it is called it is called the light the light of christ of christ shining shining from the cross from the cross the dead the dead of these two teeth of these two teeth must be shut down must be shut down and do you know what and do you know what we do what we do is to declare is to declare what apostle paul what apostle paul i am crucified i am crucified with christ with christ i shut i shut these two eyes these two eyes and join christ I join christ in the middle here. In the middle here. Do you know what? Do you know what? The Bible says. The Bible says. The other thief. The other thief. On the cross. On the cross. He said. He said. Master. Master. When you come. When you come. Into your kingdom. Into your kingdom. Remember me. Remember me. Jesus said. Jesus said. Today. Today. You shall be. You shall be. With me. With me. In paradise. In paradise. The guy. The guy. Said. Said. Master. Master. When you come. When you come. Into your kingdom. Into your kingdom. He had forgotten. He had forgotten. That he Jesus had already said, had already said the, kingdom the kingdom of God is within, is within you. you. The kingdom, the of, God kingdom of God is within, is within you. you. The kingdom of, the God, kingdom of God, God is within you. Is within you. There, is an inner kingdom. there is an inner kingdom. There is a kingdom. There is a kingdom within us. Within us. It is in our heart. It is in our heart. It grows. It grows. It expands. It expands from the back. From the back. It rises. It rises by, by cerebral, cerebral spinal, spinal fluid. fluid. By the four ventricles, by the four ventricles, which are the four rivers, which are the four rivers, watching our garden, watching our garden, people of God, people of God, place your hand, place your hand on your head, on your head, activate, activate, fire within, fire within, oh son of righteousness, oh son of righteousness, rise up, rise up, within me, within me, fire, 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 Celestial fire, fire, holy, holy, fire, fire, heavenly, heavenly, fire, fire, holy ghost, holy ghost, fire, 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 heavenly, heavenly, fire, 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 flaming, flaming, fire, fire, vehement, vehement, fire, 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 consuming, consuming, fire, fire, consuming, consuming, fire. Fire, blood, fire, fire, blood, fire, 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 shake your body, fire, 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 Obed, always
always a blessing. I am excited that you made time to listen to the good word of God. I want you to put in the extra work of coming to our church. You know what I want you to do? Just when you arrive, let the ushers know that you came on my personal invite and they will bring you to me. I'll be excited to shake hands with you, to talk with you, and to pray for you. And I'd like for you to know it's a promise I'm making to you. Come and let us experience it for real at the watershed. God bless you as you make time to come. And remember, faith coming by hearing.